Hello people. Um, I am back with some goodies for you guys. Um, I had said earlier on, I think in the last video I made maybe, um, that I had some starter kits, some starter packs actually. Um, and I've got several more, but these are the ones that I have now. And these are themed. Um, there's three different ones. They are pretty much the same for the most part. Um, and they're all fairy kits. Um, so the, the theme is fairy, but they're starter. I'm calling them starter packs because they're really not like the kits that, um, you know, like my traditional kits. So let me just jump right in. Um, there's three of them. And I'm sorry you have to hear the fire alarm uh, beeping in the background. It's time to change our batteries out. This beautiful background, I have a story behind this that um, is pre-recorded and I talk about it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. Um, and it's green. It may not look like it on camera, but it's, it's beautiful. And I'm already loving it so much. Okay, so let me just show you the first kit. Um pack whatever you want to call it it's got what I did is I put it's all fairy thing guys so let's just pour everything out and they're all the same so I won't go through every detail in the other ones mainly the books uh, the papers are pretty much the same um, and the fabrics and all that so it's a little bit smaller I'm so not used to making small um, collections for you guys I'm so accustomed to like jam packing it all in but I think as time goes and given that school is um, starting pretty soon I'm gonna scale back on my traditional jam pack kits um, not yet not until I get the ones that I have coming up listed because because I do have several um, coming up so anyway what I put in this um, pack is some of my beautiful beautiful avocado dyed paper I love this paper um, and thank you to those who um, have purchased it and the feedback um, that you've given me on it. Um, it's so much fun to make um, and I, I just love the color. That's my favorite part is the color. Um, and then I put in some of this graphic uh, paper that I just absolutely love um, dyeing and some of this uh, pretty paper. I got a, a beach theme um, uh, thing going on and so I put some of this paper in there because this does kind of remind me a little bit of that so this is the paper the dyed paper then you get um and this kit may be the only one that has this old 1970 um sheet in there of mushrooms to color there's a piece of music paper um and i tried to stick to to themed like fairy like um you know tales and things like that so this is some enchanted evening and then you'll get a lot of pretty papers, a lot of fun papers with these. There's a fairy there that you'll have to finish. I love this lamp because it reminds me of the lamp my great grandmother used to have. And here's some more papers here. There's some fairies up there. The snow fairy tries to help. Uh, there's some dictionary with fairies and mushrooms. And um, here are some images and book pages that are really pretty to sew right into your journals. I think these are just adorable, just so cute. And this is another uh, set here, page set here. And look at this one. Look at the little dress. It's a flower. So cute. Look at the little flowers there. I did... Um, a kit like this before in the past and it sold quickly um, and so some of these pages are remnants from that kit but also some newer pages as well and this one's a little bit more darker and there's some little bugs and little things that you would find around flowers and fairies this book here is so old it's copyright 1945 and yes I split it up um, I think I I um, took some of the images because I wanted to keep it um, for myself and scanned it and then um, went ahead and put this in here but it's 1945 and look at the cute little fairies there fluttering around in the corners and there's a little fairy uh, poem there look at the crickets adorable adorable and then these pages are really cute they've been written on by a child um, they're pretty soiled they've got tape here but there's the uh, images are just so beautiful and these are old pages 
Um, I mean, uh, from old books. I'm sorry. So those are really pretty um, and appropriate. And this talks about the fairy shoemaker um, there. So he's out and about. And then here is some um, pretty mushrooms with this little fairy in a nutshell. She's so tiny. I think that's the Melina. And then here's some images here. And for all the packs, I try to um, divide everything up um, equally and um, equally and you know so that you would have enough to um, to spread out if you're you know if you're uh, just learning this has river on it and ritual just learning to make journals and light and then this was some and these might smell a little bit guys like um, incense these are the ones that I got at a a yard sale my mother and I went to and I I didn't videotape it it was a while ago it was very early on before school was even out this year but these are so much fun and you'll notice that um, the images are childlike but then you get to some of the more serious looking um, fairies the more mature fairies but they all have their clothes on thank God <laughs> Um, so there's no fairies in here like that. And these are fairly contemporary. All the kits, the packs have um, pretty much, I think this is the only kit that has uh, this image here, piece. And this is really interesting, the little dark fairies um, kind of um, flying around her. And this just has some florals on it. The people that um, I got this card, these cards from, and I, I videoed, it, uh, filmed it. Um, the haul I filmed, but not as my mother and I were picking it out, picking it up. Um, the guy sold me the box. There was a, just a box of these gorgeous cards, but they also had a lot of uh, hippie-like or bohemian-style um, attire, and. Um, different things like that so I think they were kind I don't know what they if they were sellers or what sellers in terms of it looks like they like had a store or something and they were getting rid of everything but it was a, it was a yard sale so it was pretty cool I put some old vintage book pages in here and these are these are really old um, the books are and so I thought those might be fun um, and add a little bit of um, vintage feel now you don't have to use this as a kit um, you can use this um, as a stash pack. Um, that's kind of my whole thing now is is focusing on just you know uh, packs for stash to to restash and rebuild your stash. And these are gorgeous. These mushrooms are so pretty, just beautiful. Okay, so here's an extra book with no pages. There's Thumbelina. Put that in there. There's no pages in there, so you can practice or play around on that. If you're new to junk journaling, there's videos on how to open this uh, spine up. You just, really, you just pull it apart. Even I've done that before with the Winnie the Pooh uh, kit uh, years ago or a year or so ago. And so you can just pull on that and it spreads that spine out. Um, spreads it out a little bit um, further out for you so that you can sew your signatures in. Let's see here, okay. Um, Okay, so that's that's the extra book. There's a writing paper with some butterflies and flowers. And this is the book. Um, I put three books in here. Guys, I'm sorry. Um, this is the cover. And it is gutted, all ready for you. So you can take this out and rebuild that spine. There's a lot of videos that you can watch, but it is adorable. So, so, so cute. Um, and then this book is an extra. And there might be a little fly uh, flying wandering around here I had the the back door open earlier um, trying to save my peppers and I've got I've just got all kinds of little um, just a small little garden um, in the back and it's just so hot to grow anything and so I was kind of in and out um, and so there might be a fly wandering around here um, anyway oh and by the way the poem that I was talking about guys the Emily Dickinson poem I heard a fly buzz 
most of you, even though I hope I didn't frighten you guys by talking about how um, it, that's what it's about is like death and dying and everything. <laughs> that's literature. You know, that's that's what we do. Professors of literature, English, novels, poetry, all genres um, of writing, um, even nonfiction sometimes. Um, it's all open for interpretation. A lot of my students... Um, most of them see that fly as, as symbolic of death, but there are some whom I absolutely just love it when they challenge, um, you know, um, other concepts or other ideas about what a poem might mean or what an author meant to say or wants us to take away from it. And some have argued that the fly is Christ. So go figure that out. Okay. Anyway, um, this is the third book for this pack. Now, this pack is going to be called Yellow, just simply Yellow. Okay, I'll put in there buttercup yellow, but just remember it's it that's what it is. Um, and this is the cover of that really old book, and look at those little fairies inside of there. So I've left the end papers in there for you. Look, isn't that cute? Look at this little guy. Just adorable. And there's the back. And it's so old, 1945. 1945 and the images especially for those of you who like fairy um fairy tale and then i put in just some papers i got some beautiful happy mail look at the paper ribbon from um sophia again and i cannot wait to to upload that video um it was pre-recorded so here's some napkins thank you sophia and then um, I, I'll show you what all she gave me. That that box was just insane. It's just totally crazy insane. And this is some of the other little pieces, the stickers here that, that she put in there. And then here's another napkin here with some birds. And I've used those before. And then you get, um, each pack comes with, um, that's the paper portion. Um, and then each pack comes with some kind of um, doily or linen. And for this one, I thought it was so appropriate to put this old vintage hand-stitched um, floral in this particular pack. I tried to contrast this with the book so that the colors aren't all matchy-matchy and the same. So that's all hand-stitched. And I showed those. I got those from an estate sale. And there's a video somewhere where you guys saw me pick that up. There's that. And then I found um, at an estate sale, the 1974, the paper that's in here, <clears throat> it was dated 1974 and it was four hand embroidered um, mushrooms. And so I just shared it amongst the pack. So this one has this, the three mushrooms here, and this is beautiful uh, fabric. I think it's linen. That's what it feels like. So you'll get that. And here's some of my stretchy, stretchy, cool um, butterfly with the uh, ladybug. And there's quite a bit of that in there. Unfolds, folds up twice. And I put in a piece of this fabric, and I used this for Valentine's Day um, last, this year. Yeah, it was this year, I think. Uh, yeah, it was this year. Um because of the lovers and you know but I thought this would be so perfect because of the flowers and the trees and this lovely scenery here um, that it just seemed very uh, befitting for a fairy like or even a garden um, kit if you uh, journal if you're working on something like that very very beautiful lots of buds and um, florals there so that's in there it's very very eclectic this kit is or this pack is and then there's a piece of floral uh, fabric there for tip ends this you almost need sunglasses for this is so fairy like to me <laughs> um that is just like whoa um yeah you almost need like sunglasses or some kind of shades for this it's just so vibrant and um yeah it's like hello so all the kits the packs have that and this is an old vintage piece of silk that's vintage. That comes from Mr. McDaniel's estate, and it's a pretty, pretty yellow that's probably not going to show up on the screen here. And then this is a scrap of lace, just a scrap piece that I took away from an old vintage tablecloth. 
and it's kind of a mustard yellow. All the packs have that. Um, only two of the packs have this on purpose um, because one of the kit, the packs is more foresty like. Um, but I got this as a gift um, from Marcia, I believe, sent me this. And it's like eyelet. It's very pretty, very soft. And then here's some tulle because nothing says hello fairy fairies flying around like light tulle stuff. Um, a piece of this those flowers you can use and those are pretty flat those they look like they're bulky um, but they lay pretty flat they're you know like doilies um, let's see and then you've got some lace I put green um, not all the kits have the same some pieces are the same but some are different there's some green and some blue and some avocado dye lace and some white lace and some yellow lace and some baby baby really vintage dirty blue baby blue doesn't even look baby blue anymore it's um excuse the reach it's this here and it's light blue but it's so light blue and so old that you can't even like you can't even um tell that it's light blue really and then this pretty happy piece right here this piece is just happy 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 and then, oh, I forgot, you also get a piece of wallpaper. And I thought this would be cute. You can imagine little fairies fluttering in and out of those um, flowers. Maybe competing with bees or something. Um, all the kits, the packs have that. Sorry that one piece is getting all over the place. And then um, you get this little bag of goodies. It has in it a stamp. All the stamps are different flowers it has in it a cute little um let me just show you it has the cutest little um little uh, doll here in it there's the stamp there's one of sophia's beautiful flowers and there's some little florals and there's a bead a ceramic bead with a flower on it and there is some die cuts and a pen and some butterflies. Of course, floss. I always put that in my packs or my kits or whatever. There's Tinkerbell. Oh, Tinkerbell. <laughs> I said Tinka. That's what I call my niece, Tinka. <laughs> and there's some uh, die cuts. And then you get these really cute little... Um, let's see if I can dig down in here. There's a little butterfly. Um, you get these little charms. And I put this little um, girl in all of the kits because I thought, I don't know, guys, I'm not a crafter. You know that. Um, she could be turned into a fairy of sorts. So all the kits have that. The packs have that. And then they all have some kind of charms. They all have this one. And there's a flower and a butterfly. Okay. So there's that. So let me just um, put this in and I'll be right back. Oh, and I forgot, you guys, there's some little leaves in here, too, little faux leaves as well for the florals or whatever, um, if you wanted to sew those on your pages. Okay, hang on, I'll be back. Okay, here's the one that is um, a forest slide. Now, I won't go through all the papers. Um, well, let me tell you what I'll do. Everything is the same in, the little, in these little packs, except for the color of the floss changes. In here, I put yellow. The card changes, but they're still the same beads and the charms, the die cuts. Thank you, Sophia, um, for the die cuts. And then the little pin is a different color. I tried to vary up on those. And also, the um, stamp that I put in there is a different color. Isn't that one cute? Somebody's weed eating, guys. Sorry if you can hear that. Okay, so for this one, this one I call Forest, and here's why. This one... Um, has let me just show you the book there's my the coffee the avocado dye papers and those really pretty blue papers um, that I just love 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 so much and some of you and I you know I'm so repetitive on purpose I have to thank Sue Olson again for that idea because that's where I got it from and I've actually had people customers um, to actually ask me if 
you know, to make, to make sure to put some of this paper in their thank you packs because they like it so much. There's music paper. This one is a part of the Some Enchanted uh, Evening. And then there's some more florals. And there's a fairy there uh, decorating a Christmas tree. And there's another fairy there flying Mr. Wynn and the little boy fairy. I hope you guys can see that okay. Um, here's some more paper here. And images here. This is a uh, Tom Thumb. He's so tiny. Um, and so, and then here is your um, wallpaper. It's going to want to curl up and make me fight with it, but, whoops, sorry, told you. Okay, um, and then for this kit, here's your book. So this book, I love this book. This book, just this image right here reminds me so much of Gibbet. And I, I don't know, I just love her work so much. Um, this, that's what this, this reminds me of. And is so intimate right i mean it's like the details it's like the 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 bed of the earth um is just you know all the little goodness that goes on there it's just so cool this is an old book it's a one of the children's encyclopedia books and then look at the inside these um covers um look at the fern and the beetle starfish florals squirrel all kinds of um pretty little things and there's the back and it's got a nice image of a squirrel and those mushrooms and there's another image there and it talks about the rainforest here so I love this one I think it's really really cool um, I like it a lot let's see did I put another second book in here I did um, the second book for this kit well I'll get to it let me do these papers first so this one you have um, some children childlike images I don't know if you can see that if I'm going too fast. I'm sorry, I'm going fast, guys. My phone doesn't have a lot of um, of uh, memory on it. Isn't she cute? So adorable. And look at the flowers there, the buttercups. And then this one is really adorable. I had to put this one in here just because he's holding that um, nut there. Um, it looks like a chestnut, I guess. And then there's that. And then look how cute that one is. So adorable, this face, the drawings of the faces. Very cute. Um, and then I put a recipe in this one with some mushroom, a poem, I'd love to be a fairy's child. Some of the little bug paper. Um, some images of little fairies. Um, and these beautiful uh, woodland um, moments here in the dark. Um, there's a little mouse and more mushroom, another cricket, um, just all kinds of cute little um, nature, uh, little pieces of nature. And this one, I oh, I put it in here for this little fairy here. She's really pretty. And this one's got huge wings. I guess they all have the same size, si same size wings, but hers just look to be more um, noticeable there. And then here is uh, a little mouse coming out of a mushroom house. Very, very cute papers. Um, and this one, there's little fairies um, dancing around down here. And this is, again, is not, these are 19. Look at this one carrying a little baby. And she's got the pretty wings and those colors. She's wearing a buttercup dress, it looks like. And look at this one sitting on the snail. Just so cute very very cute this is a 19 look at this one hanging off if i can't get my words out as if um it's uh, on a playground or something and i guess it would be a playground for fairies very very cute i love that kind of stuff and then these are just some old um fairy tale pages that i thought would go really well the forest here this is hansel and gretel um and it's got some flowers there that it talks about so very, very pretty. Again, walking around in nature. Um, some writing papers and an image from an, a book. Um, this one, this image comes from an old book and I think that book might be the second one in that one, but 
Um, I thought this was really cool, this whale sort of hanging out with these animals. There's some monkeys up there. I wonder what they're talking about. I bet, you know, they're having some good conversation there. And there's a little dog. Look how cute. So cute. I love these images. Okay, let me hurry up, guys. Here's a tiny little fairy here. In these old book pages, a child has written 33 on there and scribbled over this. And look at the little white rabbits. Um, this fairy, this image is a, a lot larger. Um, the fairy snow will not keep when the sun is high in the sky, said the fairy godmother. Um, very pretty. And there's more child scribble there. I know you guys like that sometimes. And I think it's so, that's my whole thing. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello. Um, welcome to my channel and I hope you click the button, uh, subscribe button and that bell. Um, I always have a lot of interesting, um, art supplies, uh, for, especially for junk journal makers. Um, and that's all I do. I don't make journals. Um, I buy them and I've been so blessed to be gifted them that it's crazy. I still am in awe. Um, and I win them if I can, if I can, you know, get in there and find some of the giveaways. Um, but mostly on this channel, um, you will hear me ramble. I am non-linear, um, a stream of conscious person out loud. <laughs> um, and I talk a lot, but I'm trying to get better at it. Um, I take you out on estate sales with my mother and we go out, you know, my mother and I go out and, um, scavenge and look for really cool stuff um a big recycler uh, i i totally believe in recycling i think it's the way to go for your children's children and their children um it's very important um to recycle any and every little piece of paper that you can um okay and uh you know stick around i'm pretty sure you'll find something that you like even if you find yourself highly entertained by my blah 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 rambling here's some cute um fairies here guys i love this carrying the fruit i think that's a really cute image there um that's from i think from thumbelina i love the bird i put that in there because of the foresty like um and there's a symbol page um lotus water lily and then this one has the same some of the same um, greenery here, envelopes. There's that one. You saw that one. This one. And again, these smell like incense, guys. It doesn't bother me, but um, I think the people where, where these were um, stored, the people burned incense all the time because that's what they smell like to me. Sisterhood, I love that. Women were pretty awesome. Men are too. Don't get me wrong. Men are wonderful. I'm married to one. I had two daddies and brothers. I st <laughs> uh, men are wonderful, but I think women, we, um, man, I just think that we can change all of this negative attitude going on um, in the world. All this badness. You know, we need some women, more women in charge of something. Please. <laughs> something. Guys, let me get my dog. Um, let him out. Hold on. Okay, my basset hound, he'll just walk right into our, our bedroom um, when I'm not paying attention to him, so he wanted to go out. He woke us up this morning barking at us like, let me out, guys. <laughs> he's, he's so, oh my God, loud and aggressive and stubborn. He's the sweetest dog, though. He's so sweet. I think um, he's still uh, missing our, our big baby, though. We We all are. I miss him so much, my Max. This is from the cover of the paper of that um, embroidery piece that I showed you. So I just cut, literally cut the fabric um, into three pieces and shared it. Um, that just says Fantasy Forest. That's where that comes from. That's old. It's from the 70s. Well, the 70s is not old, but it kind of is. Here's some more mushrooms. Okay, let me speed it along here. Um, there's an image there and one there. And then this is the second book. This is a gutted Reader's Digest book. I always include the first and last pages whenever I um, put these in, in my uh, large kits. And I put this one in there because of the little butterfly um, fluttering around on the front and back there. You can see that and the flowers. I love those pink and blue flowers. And you do get um, the 
the um, spine. Okay, um, it's very, very, very natural for these books to fall apart when you're gutting them. The um, there are some that are a later date that don't do that, but they're still so beautiful, and so many people uh, rebuild that spine. And guys, uh, if, again, if you're new to my channel, um, I wish I could tell you how to use my kits or how to um, that should go in this pack. How to um, you know junk journal or make junk journals but I, I don't do any of that I, I can't tell you so for my kits you basically have to use your imagination that's the whole thing with my kids and um, the fun part about that is that that's what you do anyway right <laughs> you, that's what you do when you junk journal when you make journals is you use your imagination um, and make the most beautiful journals um, which is awesome but I can only do the supplying part okay and then for this one I won't go through this whole pack it's per, it's the same um, there's some lace uh, in here and there's some tool and there's the yellow piece there's the, the piece you need sunglasses for um, and so on and this piece um, the lovers in the garden I left the, the very edging on it because um, I think this book is a lot more rougher if you will um, and then this got the larger piece of um, the mushrooms it got the really big piece and this was still in its packaging it's got some yellowing on it but it was still in the package um, never touched I kept the needles there somewhere um, but yeah and then this one has um, this doily here which I think is so fairy ish style I mean look at that nothing says flittering and flopping around like um, fairies than this doily does and this is vintage um, it almost looks like buttercups at the end or flowers at, at, on, around the edges and then here is a floral uh, vintage hanky that is so pretty just gorgeous and it's got some brown and yellow uh, I'm sorry some purple and yellow buttercup uh, like flowers on it so um, I thought that was really appropriate and useful um, you make pockets with that or you can make pockets with that okay let me put this back I'll be back okay and that kit is called forest okay that pack will be called forest this one is called um, pink and the reason is I'll just show you the things that are different um, there's the stamp for that one and there's a green floss in this one with some different die cuts and the little eye um, eyelash trim I think that's eyelash trim and in this one for the doily because I know that's what most people want to see um, you get this pretty pink hanky you get the other side of the mushrooms so cute look at this black and the little flowers so you'll get that one and then this is the hanky for this one it's just like the other one but it's pink and purple and yellow whereas the other one is just purple and yellow and it's it's in beautiful condition the old vintage hankies are and then you'll get this lovely piece here this doily and it's double-edged so you can cut those out and um, you know whatever you want to do with them they make cute tabs on your pages they make cute places to hang your um, bowl pins on all that cool stuff I love those okay so that's that now let me show you the books for this one all the papers are pretty much the same um, the books for this one this one is called pink and the reason why is because I put in look at that a fairy went a marketing <laughs> so cute look at this one in the red the poppies isn't she beautiful and you can sew that page right into your books isn't she pretty look at the florals there just gorgeous and there's the book that one's called pink and um, this one also has a gutted Thumbelina so you can make more than one journal and then I threw this one in here and I thought this one was really a lot of fun 
and it's gutted for you already. Um, so there you have it. Okay. Um, so that's the, those are the books um, for this one. All the papers, everything else is the same. You got a coloring book in here. There's a beautiful, beautiful fairy. Wouldn't it be cool to blow that up like big size? She's gorgeous. And then this is um, little fairies up here. I had to check my phone. And this says, someday my prince will come. She's in the forest with little animals kind of waiting for for prints to come and there's some papers some beautiful beautiful um, dye papers for you look how pretty that pink is it's just gorgeous looks vintage not pink as in baby pink but vintage pink like a dirty pink okay let me put this up and then I have um, one more thing to show you okay guys um, so let me do this last um, listing well it's not a listing this is going to be sold via paypal by the way all of the kits are going to be the packs are going to be sold paypal only um and i'll give you the prices and and all of those i'm um, here in a second so i finally finished another um i call them collage art books supply books um but they are flow books um and i i finished this one and it is so jam packed <laughs> it's like packed oh my god i stuffed and stuffed and stuffed it so let me just get right down with the get down um i put on the front cover just you know um just some packaging old packaging and green and that's what this will be called green um art collage supply book or collage supply book i put some beads on the side i just tied those on there and okay, let me just open it right up um uh, let's see. I think I need something to hold it up a little bit. Let me get my box here. Um, so what I did for this one is I put so many um, goodies in here for you to, to um, art up your projects with and to take out. Nothing is tacked down. Um, I'm going to link um, Rosemary Morris, Tammy Brackett, and there's another lady um, that I um, absolutely love her flow books too and she's such an inspiration but those those three ladies are just very um, inspirational for me in in terms of putting these together and I didn't there's nothing glued other than this packaging um, everything else is taped with washi thank you candy for my washi and thank you Sophia um, because I now have a lot of washi to um, to tack things down with um, okay so anyway um, what I did is I put lots of images in here, and then you've got this really pretty, um, gorgeous uh, fabric. I got this from, I think, Goodwill. And it's not sorry silk or, you know, the Indian stuff at all. It's, it's just curtains. As far as I know, it does have some pretty little diamonds, um, little bling. Um, pieces in there but as far as I know it's not that I think this is too high guys hang on let me get organized here that's a little bit better yeah maybe okay um so anyway so there's that and I just tack that onto the front cover of an old map book over here you've got um some pretty images here that are pretty impactful I think they're, they're really nice um, and I won't show everything in the book because that's part of the fun. There's some more of that pretty um, dyed paper. Um, this is all my coffee dyed, some of my coffee dyed paper pieces. So I'll just flip through there, flip, flip through it and show you. Um, while I'm flipping through this, I got the cutest little order from a sweet girl who bought um, blocks or squares, rectangle pieces of my... Um, coffee dyed paper that I cut up for her um, because she wanted to write her partner, her girlfriend, like every day of, of the year. She wanted to write her partner a note. Okay, it was the cutest order. Um, so, yeah, she bought her, um, she bought several, uh, she bought an order of my coffee dyed paper. These are the old um, coffee cards. Uh, recipe cards um, and wanted them cut up into small squares so that every day every day for 365 days she can write her 
um, partner um, a note of sorts. I thought that was the sweetest thing. Um, very, very neat idea too. Um, this lady is awesome. Her name is, if you can see it right there, she's part of the the bat, whoops, can you see the bat land, uh, lands? Her name is Gumbo Lily. And this comes from those Western magazines um, that I have um, listed in my Etsy store. And they're old. They're really nice. There's some little eyeballs there and a Harry Potter card. And uh, this is Helen Keller touching um, someone's face. Um, some die cuts and images. Little owls. Inside um, this map fold here is some um, old vintage images. Um, when I put these together, I think of people collaging. Um, that's what I think. I, I mean, I don't know. I, they, you, you can use a flow book for anything, and um, I'll be sure to list um, the ladies. Oh, and uh, the Southern Gales designs, too. She uh, goes through how she uses her flow books. And... Um, Tammy has a whole series on it, so I'll be sure to put all those links um, in the description box for you. If you've never used a, a flow book, there's uh, Jane Austen. So that's just got those kinds of goodies in there. And put this owl back, he's kind of watching over everything. Um, and so, yeah, so let me stop talking and just flip through. If you have questions about anything, um, just, you know, just, just leave me a message and ask. And this is PayPal only as well. So, um, Etsy's fees are getting pretty high. Um, and I am a total, total, total Etsy supporter. I have been from day one, but, oh my goodness, their fees are like, I don't know what's going on there. I guess when they got the shareholders, um, they, they have to pay those shareholders, right? <laughs> yep. So, but anyway, um, I, I'm going straight to PayPal with these because I've always done it that way with these small um, packs like this. Um, this is from a vintage Better Homes and Garden book. And then here's some cute little baby shoes. Aren't those adorable? Just cute. There's a playing card and an old library card. This is from a vintage um, book. And there's some tags and then in here I put some paper dolls some of the paper dolls I got from an estate sale you guys saw me get those these are bits and pieces though very cool for collage and then there's one whole doll in there um, I'm making more of these and this fabric is really pretty and great for um, the fall season die cuts thank you Sophia I don't have anything like that in my stash at all um, oh dear, hang on guys, my husband's calling me. Okay, so anyway, um, I forgot what I was telling you guys now, but anyway, um, what I did in this little pocket, I put some buttons and all kinds of cute goodness in there. Some vintage buttons, a little bee patch. Look at that big old button. There's one that's a sun button and some lace. And then there's some lace in the back with some little fabric pieces. Okay. Excuse me. Um, okay, let's see. Another die cut here. This uh, page, um, the lady you saw earlier, that's from a 1947 yearbook. And there's some maps and images. These books, books are so much fun for collaging. There's a big people. Inside of this map part, I put some more goodies in here. Um, some old, more of the old uh, Western um, magazine images. And this one I think had, yeah, Buffalo Bill. Um, but look at the, the uh, carriages, cowboys and Indians. But even a legend can't be in two places at once without a little help. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The magazines are, they just have a ton of images in them. There's some um, calligraphy or lettering and some music paper. It's a nice size sheet. 
and that's just tucked right down in there and I put and notice guys um, because again I'm not a, a journal maker I just tack stuff so that you can pull it off and use it so there's some cheesecloth that I coffee dyed um, there's some goodies in here I won't show you everything in there but there's a lot of good stuff in there there's a one of those um, you know projector thingy film things um, there's a pretty fox there some uh, pattern paper and then here um, is just some images and some green stamps and a guest check and some stickers letters um, this is a piece of uh, one of my old vintage 1920 writing papers um, that I scanned and there's some more fabric here that's just tapped on there tacked on there and this is the other side of the fabric uh, lace that we started out with and this is pretty cool um, just opens right up you can cut pieces of that off and use it um, I put contents on Abe's hat um, with some white washi that Sophia gave me and then this pretty tiger uh, pattern washi there and let's see what else I put in here um, this is the second part um, I put a baby napkin a whole bag of napkins in here with birds flags flowers there's more uh, birds on on the um, inside I think there's another bird napkin in there similar to the one I put in the fairy kits but those are fun those are always fun to decoupage with and you've got some sticky notes down here um, yeah and those have at least two or three pages on them and some packaging um, the Bidens Titanic this beautiful old music paper here with bigger sized notes um, I folded that in there's more images and washi um, and one of Sophia's cute little pads that I love so much that she's sewn at the top and this pretty image here and a card with the kit with kittens on it And there's a ton of goodies in here. Um, I love these circle thingies because I put some stuff in case you're working on some Halloween um, images. A good, a, again, good for collage work. And there's a Hawaiian dancer. Those are small playing cards. And there's some other uh, pieces down in there as well. Oh, and this packaging, guys, I love this. Um, I saved some for myself. This came from uh, Liz Drake. Um, thanks, Liz, if you ever watch my channel. Um, she sent me some doilies. I bought some doilies from her a while ago. Um, I just adore her. I think she's a pretty amazing uh, young lady. And, um, and I can call all young ladies in their 30s and even in their very 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 early 40s uh young ladies because you know technically they you know they would be the same age as my daughter would be and i just think she is one of the most um amazing artists drawing all of that it's just pretty cool so i put some of her uh flamingo <laughs> packaging in there um and that's just how she wrapped it it was just like pop 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 sand <laughs> that's how it came um I put some little goodies behind here, some vintage uh, ephemera pieces, message pieces, some tags, and that's just a little thing you can stick stuff through. There's some more paper there that moves. I think that's origami paper. Um, this is some old receipts that I scanned, and this is a, a um, Pussycat Sits by the Fire um, Beatrix Potter page, one of the large pages. And I love these images here of old ladies. And then there's some kittens. And there's a card under there, a Christmas card. I think it says Noel. And that's a postcard. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the um, a book from Alice in Wonderland. And then here's some more images here. And more images here of birds, buzzards cards, playing cards, more images here, 
and this has um, a cute little dog image of someone practicing painting behind here is some graphics I have a ton of, of um, Dungeons and Dragons magazines um, from you know the 80s I think they're from the 80s maybe 90s um, and I just tore out a page and put that in there and then over here there's some book page and um, other book page and dictionary papers and some stickers that are gold aren't those pretty things to do birthday and it's got little arrows and hearts and little banners and Sophia sent me those and I just love it she sent me so much cool stuff um, for these books I think it's and it's stuff that I don't have um, most of my stuff is recycled or um, vintage or things you know that have been gifted to me so and then here's a, an old photograph, a real photograph of an abandoned place. I know some of you ladies like to work with that kind of thing. And um, on the back, oh, it says Grandma Hinkle's old house, miles east of somewhere, Oklahoma, up on the hill, west side going south, 1902. I thought that was pretty cool. And there's some washi. So that just kind of fits down all in there and um, I have to clip it together so it doesn't roll out roll out that's an old vintage uh, wedding card that uh, Kristen gave me that I, I got that in her ephemera pack and I'll link her ephemera pack in her shop down below as well this is some old wallpaper wallpaper samples it's really pretty Montgomery Wards pretty images there and more goodies over here, more washi images. This is a real old photograph I found in some something that I got from um, one of the um, estate sales. And guys, I never ever have luck finding Tim Holtz stuff. I've said that on a thousand of my videos way back when. I never, I mean, who lets anything Tim Holtz go, right? I got so lucky I found two packages, only two, of stencils, and I put one of them in here, and I thought that would be a lot of fun um, for you guys to art up your stuff with. And then here's the Alice um, in Wonderland page. That's a page out of Alice in Wonderland. And some dime uh, coins. I'll put another one in there. I forgot it. I meant to put more than just the one in there, um, but I get so sidetracked when um, I'm working on these. It's so much fun. And then this is um, another one of Sophia's hand sewn um, pieces, a thank you note. I put some of her, some of the tags in there that are so pretty in this little vintage rabbit. And then this image here is really cute. Um, it's adorable. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Isn't that pretty? Looks like a little girl and her sister. So cute. This comes from um, a stack of old um, paperbacks that I found, and I love the, the covers of those, the images of, of those. This is 1966. Um, it says nine, nine, 1966 up there, but I think these are from the 70s. It says 1966, though. It could be. But I love the cowboy image on there, so you can um, collage with that. And this beautiful paper behind here um, is gorgeous. I put several pieces of that in here because the images were so powerful like this one um, these heirloom tomatoes and all the different um, uh, classification of the different types of, of tomatoes just gorgeous and then this says uh, strange to see how a good dinner and feasting reconciles everybody right isn't that true um, there's a whole book of the these little quotes that I got wear heavy rubber gloves to transfer turkey from roasting pan to platter Darken the color of gravy if out of commercial variety with a small amount of caramel or instant coffee <laughs> um, And it kind of goes back and forth between interesting quotes and then quotes about cooking quotes on how to make uh, potpourri. I think that's going to be in the in that one's in my next um, flow book This was a book on just telephones that were really old ones I tacked a ballerina up here. She looks pretty cute. There's a flash card, a flying pig with some uh, rhymes on it. Um, there's the front of the Alice in Wonderland book. 
And in this little package, I put in some floss, some purple lace, and some Scrabble towels, and some more buttons, and um, some little images here. A lady pushing an elephant behind the butt, <laughs> or pushing the elephant's butt. And then some other little images there. Those are those old National Enquirer cards and some buttons and some other little doodads down in there. So you can take those out and, and collage with, or you can definitely use that, that floss to sew your um, signatures in with. And there's another one of the old images. Um, I love these. Like I would cut that out and use that in, in collage if I were an artist and could do that. There's the other side of the Beatrix Potter. There's the other side of the receipt papers that I copied, uh, that I scanned, and some Monopoly money. Um, more book pages and images. Um, this has some, uh, I think it's, I want to say Korean text in here. I want to say Korean text, but I'm not sure. Um... And then it's got like an old card that's blank and um, a little card die cut that says family, which I thought was really cute, lady and her dog, because our pets are our family. And then I tacked this on with a little clip and some of this little fuzzy stuff. And there's that other side of, <laughs> of Liz's... Um, flamingo paper it, look at the box look at it I love it I just totally love it she you can just tell she just slapped that that um <laughs> that uh what do you call it duct tape on there and and I, I just love it love her too I think she's just a joy um anyway uh let's see and then inside of here there's some more of Sophia's flowers which I love and these little coin pockets that you guys like and there's some papers in this cd sleeve and then there's some more papers behind there that are patterned and polka dot they're double sided and there's an old um, looking letter um, in a, a different language Mandarin love that and I love this eye right here I think it's so pretty let me see if I can pull this page out well I better not because I'll screw it up I learned that from watching um, Tammy, whenever I have a chance to watch her, which is, you know, I try to catch a lot of her videos if I can. They're just, she's just amazing. Um, but yeah, I better leave that in there. That's some really good paper too, guys. I love that. Um, I think I have more than one of these books, so you may see that in there again. I know a lot of people that collage like eyeballs. <laughs> um, there's some Shakespeare and some old Cortez Peters writing paper, typing paper when you're learning how to type. Some dictionary, a calendar with some old um, home decor on the back. And this is the end. And in this pocket I put, um, I get this idea from Rosemary Morris's Mamba. I keep talking about that because it's so cool how she, she made that out of packaging. I did wash it out with soap. Dawn soap, dishwashing soap, um, and dried it out really good. So it, it's cool. And inside here, you've got like all kinds of little tags and this little cutie. Isn't she adorable? Look at her hat. So cute. And there's some wrapping paper in there and some packaging. And I put in a um, flash card. This is vintage. Well, it's 1984. Again, my daughter would not. Most of you young ones... Young ladies who are in your 30s would not be happy me calling it vintage, right? Because, you know, you're born in the 80s. <laughs> um, but, it, yeah. I love this. I think this is really cool. That's an old drugstore up there at the top. And then there's some action going down with people walking across the street. And the car. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, that is this book. And you can also take off. I mean, it's really packed. Um, there's a lot of other little hidden pockets and tuck spots and different things that I tucked um, other little goodies down in. Um, I tried to fill it, you know, fill it so that you would have a lot to work with and play with. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Now, the pricing on all of these um, 
are going to be, and let me just move this over here. They're all in a box now. Um, the pricing of these, so this will be called, this is the flow book, um, and this is all going to be on PayPal, is where you want to go to buy it, to purchase it, because I won't put this on my Etsy store this time. Um, the flow book is just, I call it a collage supply book, um, because I am not an artist. Um, you know, if you make a flow book, you're an artist and you know what you're doing, right? You know what um, the artist, for me, it's always a really good gut guess and I trust my gut but um, again you know I just call it a collage supply book but it's a flow book um, this is going to be forty two dollars six dollars and ninety cents to ship in the US and twenty dollars and ninety ship uh, twenty dollars and ninety cents to ship internationally um, the starter packs the yellow the forest and the pink are all the same they're thirty two dollars and they're five dollars and ninety cents to ship in the US um, internationally, I would ship these to you for $13 and 90 cents. And yes, I would eat cost, but I have the philosophy that I just love to get my supplies out and around the world. And I'm not going to let shipping and shipping prices, um, stop me from, you know, uh, sharing what I have. Um, it helps me out. It helps artists out. And so, um, yeah, so these are again, $42, $6 and 90 cents to ship. In the U.S., twenty dollars and ninety cents to ship um, internationally, and these are thirty-two dollars. Um, and these will ship five dollars and ninety cents in the U.S. and thirteen dollars and ninety cents um, anywhere in the world. Okay. Uh, before I go, um, and what you'll have to do is I'll link my uh, Gmail account, which is this here, GT Designs at Etsy, um, down below in the description box, and you'll have to email me of which one of these you want. Okay, so if you want one of the the start the fairy starter packs, um, they're yellow, forest, and pink, and this one is just a collage supply book or flow book, and it's green called green. Okay, so I'll put this because this is where you'll have to email me and message me there, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. Um, I want to thank Sophia and thank you to the buyers. Thank you, Sophia, for all the supplies. And I can't wait to upload my video that was pre-recorded um, of all the goodies I got from her, including this beautiful green um, cover. Or, um, what do you call it? Cover, I guess is what it is. So um, I can't wait to, to upload that for you guys. So thank you guys. Yeah, to those who bought some of the little golden books. books. I still have um, several of those in my shop. Um, I've marked them all free shipping. So if you're interested, um, just, you know, let me know. I combine shipping. I refund overages if there's any. Um, yeah, so just let me know if you're interested in, in any of those and I can work out a deal or something for you. Um, I think that's it. I didn't have anything else to tell you other than I'll be back with more flow books. I've got several of these coming. Um, and then I have a few traditional kits, GT Designs, old school style, um, that I can't wait to, to finish curating for you guys. So you can look forward to that. Okay. I better stop talking. So if you're interested, guys, just, um, email me here at GT Designs at Etsy at gmail.com. And you'll have to tell me which one of these you want and I'll get them mailed out for you, um, tomorrow. Okay. Um, so anyway, okay. Thanks guys. Um, oh, and the other thing is, is if you do want one of these and you message me, you need to pay within an hour. Um, because otherwise I'll move on to the next name of a person who might be interested. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thanks so much. I hope everybody's having a beautiful time and moment in this life. And, um, thanks for all your support. Hit the like button, hit the bell. So you can know when I have other kits coming up. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Orale pues, sale pues.